guys, welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading the love during this pandemic. Because we all need a little bit of loving, guys. We all need a little bit of loving. Now, before I go any further, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Remember, subscription is free, so if you haven't done it yet, then why haven't you done it yet? Come on. Right. Um, absolute chaos in Bella Horizonte last night. Um, and a bit of a coincidence because me and Tufty were going to do a watch along, uh, but I completely forgot. I thought their game was tonight, not last night. Uh, I wish I, I wish I watched it now. Uh, basically, uh, it was a game between Boca Juniors and Atletico Mineiro, and um, <laughs> well, uh, uh, the Argentine Giants Boca Juniors were knocked out of Copa Libertadores quarterfinals on penalties by Brazilian team Atletico Mineiro, but they were far from pleased. Uh, the Mirror is reporting there are chaotic scenes in Brazil as Boca Juniors players clashed with the opposition and police as they got knocked out of Copa Libertadores. Following a 0-0 draw in both legs of the quarter-final clash, the Argentine Giants were eventually defeated 3-1 on penalties in Belo. But Boca were left incensed by the result after feeling that they had two goals wrongly disallowed by VAR over the course of the two games. After the shootout, the penalty shootout that is, uh, tension spilled over into the tunnel, with footage showing a number of players attempting to get into the Mineiro uh, dressing room, where it was believed the match officials had taken refuge. Former Man United centre-half Marcus Rojo was one of those heavily involved, and he was seen brandishing a fire extinguisher in anger, while others threw objects such as a metal barrier. Things got out, out of hand at Things got so out of hand, sorry, but the police had to get involved and they were seen using tear gas to calm the situation down. Uh, there are now suggestions from Argentine press that a number of Boca players and officials could be arrested by the Brazilian forces for the part they played in the scenes. A member of Brazilian police force, Santiago Maio, told T. YC Sport. The match commissioner told us that there was aggression and that immediately activated our intervention. There, were, there are currently three players that have been identified as aggressors and are being charged with civil disturbance. We are currently still viewing surveillance video to see if any others are involved. It was unsavory end to what was a bad tempered tie and when asked whether refereeing had been a, a factor in the elimination, uh, in the elimination, Boca midfielder Diego Gonzalez told reporters after the game, without doubt, anyone can see that. We scored a good goal and the fact we deserve to win the first game as well. This hurts. We feel bad. The South American Football Confederation need to look at refereeing. This is not the first time Bok has been involved in controversy when it comes to Copa and Libertadores. In 2018, the second leg against the bitter rivals were played that move outside Argentina to Real Madrid's Bernabeu. Now, I was going to go to that game, actually, following fan trouble after a bus attack. Um, yeah, so uh, what I've got, I've collected some of... Um, uh, the footage I've seen on social media about uh, the incident in the tunnel and uh, and well here we go Sí. 
no puede pasar eh. se ve al patrón Bermúdez sí, totalmente integrante del consejo de fútbol lo que pasa es que Boca venía cargado ya de la semana pasada ese fue el problema ¿Qué que hace gente? Ya. No, deixa eles vir. Ó, oh, deixa eles vir. Pau quebra. Ah. Que isso é isso? O que, que esse cara tá querendo aqui? Ó, oh. vamos lá, gente. 